for Sears. Yes. The therapy begins with paperwork. Lots of paperwork. <laughs> So here we have another questionnaire. I know, I'm thinking a lot about cockroaches. The questions are meant to test my dislike of roaches. If I encountered a cockroach now, I would have images of it trying to get me. Absolutely, because they are all out to get me. I don't know if you're aware of this, but they are. Next, they record my anxiety level as I'm asked to move closer and closer to an aquarium filled with giant Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Wait, you want me to stoop down and stoop what? Stoop down. Stoop down so your face is directly in front of the computer. <laughs> no. Okay, so I pretty much made clear I don't like roaches. All right, so now they're on the roof of the thing. But so this is where the treatment gets, well, silly looking. Looks ridiculous. It looks asinine. Even though I'm afraid of cockroaches. Even though I'm afraid of cockroaches. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. They call this the emotional freedom technique, or EFT. It involves tapping a sequence of so-called energy points on the body while repeating what your fear is. The noise cockroaches make. The noise cockroaches make. The noise cockroaches make. Believers say EFT clears emotional baggage by promoting relaxation ultimately desensitizing people to what scares them. The treatment lasts about 45 minutes, and I think I mentioned it looks really, really silly. It's very repetitive. The remaining fear about the noise. The remaining fear about the noise. Unpleasant, Unpleasant memory about cockroaches. cockroaches. The remaining fear of cockroaches. Hate, Hate the, the way, way cockroaches, cockroaches move. move. Keep tapping, move your eyes in a circle. Move your eyes in a circle the other way. Okay, hum the first few notes of happy birthday. Happy mm -hmm. birthday? <laughs> Skeptics, including a committee of the American Psychological Association, say the tapping technique is not proven, and success stories could be explained by a placebo effect. Even psychology professor Harvey Baker admits EFT is not for everyone. It helps about two out of three people, and a number of the people it helps dramatically, some it helps modestly, and there are some who don't get helped at all. Baker says, I showed modest improvement but clearly not complete improvement. Are you willing to put your hand inside the container? Um, yeah, I, no, I don't think so. Maybe if I hum a few more bars of happy birthday, <laughs> I'll one day be able to put my hand in the cage. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet.